Hello friends, my name is Pinaki and welcome to my channel Fintech Logics. Today's topic of discussion is credit card originations and servicing. Uh, credit cards are part of unsecured loans. Uh, if you have not seen my earlier video on secured and unsecured loan, I would provide the link here. Uh, please refer that uh, for clarity. Now, the key takeaways from this session would be credit card life cycle and who are the stakeholders who are involved here. Uh, so, uh, please do like, share, and subscribe. Let's begin. Well, so I have uh, given both originations of credit card and servicing in the same uh, process diagram here. If you uh, refer to the above section uh, which are yellow highlighted they, this is part of the credit card originations and the next section uh, is servicing and merchant servicing actually so we will we'll talk about that in detail now uh, before uh, looking at this let's look at the key stakeholders who are involved so i'm calling that as a borrower the first entity is a borrower for simplicity i will maintain the same terminology across my all loan process flow so these are borrowers or your credit card customers who use the credit card right the next one is issuer or labeling bank so uh, sometimes you would see that you directly avail a credit card from a bank let's say hsbc credit card or sometimes you get it from let's say icici bank amazon credit card right so that's what i have put that as issuer or labeling bank acquirer is a very important party who is involved in between and sometimes you do not see this uh, those so these are actually the parties who act between your issuers and uh, your customer so uh, for example if you are doing any transaction right at any place so you see a point of sales machine there where you swipe your card or it, if it is wi-fi card you uh, just tap it so the machine belongs to the acquirer so acquirer would have acquired the merchant and facilitates uh, the payment um, through credit card so th those are acquirers now there is a party involved called as card network so you would have uh, heard about visa or discover network or mastercard so these are actually card networks who facilitate all these payments now last but not the list is payment gateways to whom you do the transaction specifically for online and offline transactions like your razor pays or your clover these are very famous payment gateway providers uh, who uh, manage the entire payment life cycle through credit card okay now as we see this uh, 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 these parties who are involved let's look at the process flow in detail right so uh, i will not talk about uh, lead generation these are already covered in our uh, normal loan origination flow and this is pretty much similar how we get the leads for credit card application entry is the next phase where a customer applies for a credit card so sometimes you do not see that because somebody fills that up on your uh, behalf and you just sign it digitally or uh, manually document collection it may also involve uh, your employer documents or your address proof your id proof etc some and nowadays all of these documents are collected digitally right so these are digital document collection uh, that has made the process much easier in the earlier days we used to give manual or physical copies of all this word documents and that was a painful process so now everything is happening um, uh, through automated process of uh, digitization now once your application entry and document collection is done uh, we enter into a phase of underwriting of these credit cards so where it also goes through the same phase as in normal loan so where a credit card credit rating is checked and then your uh, there is a qualitative scorecard uh, which is created uh, scoring the customer uh, from the eligibility pattern uh, of different cards and finally a summary so this helps uh, in uh, doing further credit assessment right so at the same time 
we also collect third party data enrichment you would have seen where uh, we have collected data from credit bureaus or mobile devices right so all that are collected as part of this third party data enrichment as our underwriting and third party data enrichment is done your normal credit assessment is done unlike uh, like any other credit uh, uh, product so where uh, the processes or the checks are same identity check address check underwriting whatever parameters you would have uh, got here in underwriting those are checked and card eligibility check so what is this card eligibility check in case of loans right normal personal loans our uh, no loan amount can vary so I, either you can take uh, a loan of 5 lakhs or 5 million or um, uh, uh, or as per your eligibility there can be differences in amount in very low multiples right so somebody is eligible for 1 lakh somebody is eligible for 2 lakh somebody is eligible for even 2 lakh 50 thousand in case of cards there are a fixed set of cards right so that is why uh, card eligibility check is important so what kind of card uh, uh, can be given to a particular type of customer yes of course there is differentiation in terms of what is the limit of card that you are eligible for a customer is eligible for so that comes from your credit assessment so once your credit assessment is done we enter into credit approval so credit approval is done and a card is issued so now depending on uh, different types of cards so uh, it might be uh, your a normal physical card nowadays uh, there has been uh, uh, a lot of uses of virtual cards so I, i'll make one separate video about what are the different card types in my subsequent videos for details so this is as as of now you just understand that uh, a card is issued either a, a physical or a virtual card to the customer once this is given our origination is over and the customer is ready to do transaction so that, that's what we enter into uh, our servicing phase so wherein your card swipe and authorization process will go, go on so customer will go and swipe and in the background there goes on authorization processes uh, where uh, uh, card gets approval uh, for a particular payment once your customer transaction is done that means your authorization is approved and customer can uh, do the further uh, things of buying the things there are two bifurcations of the process so this is the normal customer phase wherein customers transactions are aggregated throughout the month and we do a due or a credit processing at the month end so you you would have let's say 100 transactions all those transactions are clubbed and then customer gets a final bill for payment right those customer transactions done at different merchants also go for interchange computation so now a card is uh, uh, swipe but that payment has to go to uh, the merchants right so for that there is a uh, there is a process of where you calculate your interchange so interchange as in what amount has to be given to the merchant deducting the fees and all so there are different kinds of fees here one is your interchange fee one is your acquirer fee there is a particular settlement period also that every day either a merchant can get uh, settled or uh, uh, if it is a small merchant it can also go to three days five days or even monthly cycle so all that settlement period uh, is also taken into con consideration for this interchange when the when the, uh, the final amount is derived the merchant settlement happens that means in merchant account this amount would be deposited so this is your merchant phase which is new in case of credit card now uh, below as the customer's due is generated we do a payment collection at the end of uh, the month or the billing period as the uh, the transactions would have been done customers limit would have gone down and as the customer pays the limit is reinstated so that is what a very important phase in terms of uh, credit card servicing where reinstatement of limit happens and obviously we do approval of rewards and cashbacks once your uh, your uh, definite period of a card uh, maturity is reached we may go for card renewals or if customer is not interested 
in uh, that results in a termination of that part right so well, like these we have some additional uh, cases also that we have already seen in the case of no normal loan life cycle so uh, i will just cover uh, here disputes and chargebacks so which is one additional thing which is which comes in case of uh, credit card wherein there happens any kind of dispute or um, uh, the customers uh, on in agreement that customer has done that particular transaction right so that raises a case of dispute and some if based on the disputes there can be chargebacks also where customers um, uh, amount is given back or that uh, the merchant is penalized so th those comes under your dispute and chargebacks reward and cashback is a very important phase in all cards because uh, the backbone of the trade card industry relies on this reward and cashbacks how beneficial they um, become for the customer and as per that the uses of the card increases so rewards and cashbacks now one thing for uh, easy uh, understanding i have tried to give a comparison that okay what is additional for card so you uh, all these are marked in orange so card issuance is a new process for credit card card swipe and authorization is new interchange part merchant is definitely new for credit card rewards cashbacks dispute etc are also applicable only for credit card so in short this is also an unsecured loan service through the normal originations and servicing with some of the differences i hope uh, this becomes uh, uh, this makes uh, the idea clear and is able to come you are able to compare now between your unsecured loans and the credit card life cycle if you need any additional details in any of these sections please let me know in the comment section and i'll be happy to uh, make a detailed video on that uh, thanks a lot for watching viewers please do share and subscribe thanks a lot